All right, gearheads, we're back in the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. It is snowing outside right now, so we have moved into the garage. We have just put the uh, two-man cargo divider in. You can see it back here, and we put a little strip of, um, what is this? It's a pool noodle that I cut in half lengthwise and put under there. We're going to see how that works to seal up the back a little bit better uh, because it's cold out. It's snow outside, and I don't like to be cold, so I didn't like losing all the heat under there. I think we may even put a strip of Velcro across the back of this to hold the uh, curtain in place and seal that so the air doesn't get out. Another thing I want to do to try to keep some heat in the cab, we've already done some important things. You're blocking that off. We've got the hard doors on with the glass windows. That's going to make a big difference. But up here on the top, uh, there's a little bit of insulation built into the top, but not a lot. And what I'm seeing up here is we have the B-pillar back here, and we've got maybe an inch of space up there, front to back, about an inch. We have the center bar, and it has one, two, and a third one of these Velcros at the other end. And then we have on the A-pillar, again, a similar space. Yeah, this may be more than an inch deep, you know, inch and a half, two inches deep. So... We're going to put some Reflectix. This is Reflectix, all right? This is uh, an insulating material that uh, you can go get it at the hardware store, and they'll tell you to wrap your water heater in it. To, it reflects some of the heat back in, and it also has these little air pockets. It's like bubble wrap with foil on each side. So it gives you the air pocket uh, for a little insulation layer and then the reflectivity on the top and bottom to keep the, the heat, to reflect the heat back where it came from. So what we're gonna do is, uh, our man has helped me lay this on the top and ignore this tape, that's from what we used this for before. We're gonna take that off. But we've roughly got it lined up with this uh, little rain gutter strip on each side and setting up against this seam on the back to, to approximate where this will sit. We're going to just tuck it between the top and the B-pillar. It's going to come over the top of this uh, center bar and up on here. And I think if I cut it long enough so it has about an inch, inch and a half overhang on either side, it may actually stay up there by itself. We may not have to do anything to keep it elevated and held up there. That's going to be part of the experiment here. So we've got the length correct going across. We have it lined up in the back. So let's get a look at how far over we are. Here we go. So I'm going to have to mark it right about here. Maybe, maybe slightly back from the front edge, and then we'll cut it, and then we'll go about uh, undoing the Velcro and putting it up there. We'll have to cut the three slots for the Velcro to come through here in the middle and on the other side. Aside from that, I think this is going to be an easy job, and it should help hold some of that heat in uh, to make it a little bit more comfortable in the Humvee when it's cold out. So let me mark that and cut it, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like as we're putting it in. I went and got a Sharpie, and our man is up there holding this still, so I'm just going to mark where my overhang is, and then when I flip it over and cut it, I may go in just a bit from the edge. Honestly, I'd rather it be a little bit too, uh, have, I'd rather have it overhang too much and then have to trim it a little bit more than to cut it too short and end up not having enough. So uh, here we go. That's how that's working. Next step's gonna be to cut it. All right, so we ju I just pulled this off. This is where we marked our line. So now I'm gonna use these uh, shop scissors. And uh, all I'm gonna do is cut straight across here. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I just want it to be, uh, you know, pretty close. I'm giving it an inch and a half, two inches of extra overhang. I'm probably going to have to come trim this a bit anyway. There we go. Not going to use that part. This part is... Uh, ready. I just have to measure and cut the holes for the Velcro to go through and then we'll be ready to install this. 
All right, here we go. We got the front part tucked in. Honestly, this went real quick. Just tucked it right up in there. What we're doing right now is a test fit. So we're going to put it in on the front. Then we're going to tuck it in on the back. And if everything looks like it fits okay, we'll feel around for where the slits need to be cut for the Velcro. And then we'll uh, take it out and get it over the center bar because we do want it to go over the top of that. But so far, so good. All right, so we're inside. You can see I have tucked the Reflectix up in the gap here above the A pillar, all the way across, across the back, and above the B pillar in the back. We're coming over the center bar now, and you can see where the strap wraps around up top. So I'm going to cut a hole. I'm going to cut, a, very carefully cut a slit here, and then one on the other side. And what I'm going to do is what you see here, where I've cut the slits in the Reflectix and pulled the Velcro from the top through so that then I can uh, wrap it around snugly. There we go. So that one is done. I've got to do the two more on the other side. Uh, you know, the, the one in the center, rather, and then the one on the other side, uh, right here. And uh, I think this little job is going to be done. So, uh, pretty quick, pretty easy. And uh, I've used Reflectix before on some camping gear. I know it's going to help hold the heat in, and in the summer it will help hold the heat out. Uh, what I'm actually a little concerned about is, is this going to be too noisy going down the road with the wind blowing? Because this vehicle is noisy enough. I don't need anything else adding noise. So uh, we won't know that until we've had a chance to get out and try it. Uh, but uh, I'm very interested to see where the balance is. Additional noise versus additional warmth. Uh, I tend to be... I get cold real easy, so I think I'm going to uh, opt for more warmth, even if it is a little bit noisier. So uh, I will let you know when I get these last two done and go out and drive it around in the cold a bit. I'll check back in and uh, tell you how it went. So let me know if uh, you have any feedback on this project. I'll put links on where to get this, the roll of Reflectix. I'll put some links to where you can get it at Amazon. Uh, that a knife, a pair of scissors. That's about all you need to do this job. So give it a try. Let us know what you think. And as always, we'll see you at the range. So, what are we doing? Yeah, so Jeff from Gear Report and uh, we're out riding around. We have to turn that heat down so the fan's not so loud. Your report's headquartered in Central North Carolina, and uh, Central North Carolina is not really known for snowfall, which means we don't know how to deal with snow. <laughs> you, know, you, look, you get a couple inches of snow here, the whole state shuts down. It's crazy. So this is the first time since we've had the battle wagon that we've had any snow at all. And it's actually, I mean, if you look at the, like in the back on top of the spare tire and the, the wheel wells back there, you can see it's 10 or 12 inches deep stacked up there. Uh, and you can look up here at the road and see that the roads are covered and they're slim. We just pulled a truck out of the ditch and now we're headed, uh, honestly, we're headed back to the house. We've done a good deed for the day, so uh, we're going to go back. I thought we'd capture a quick video to let you see uh, what it's like out here on the road and uh, get a look at our new insulation to uh, keep the heat in the cab. Honestly, I have to keep turning the heat down uh, because it's getting a little warm in here. But that's what she looks like driving around in the, in the Project Humvee battle wagon in the snow. All right, gearheads. We're at the shooting range. One of my favorite places, the shooting range. We're in the Project Humvee battle wagon. Uh, really enjoys about uh, 19 degrees outside. This uh, Reflectix layer we put in the top is really helping hold the heat in. We got so much stuff in here. We got uh, all kind of firearms back here that we're going to go shoot and have a good old time in the freezing weather. And uh, I thought you'd like to see driving on a little bit of a uh, very little bit of snow.
whoever drove through this with those little, uh, you can see from the tread pattern, it was not a mud and snow tire. All it did was pack it down, turn it into ice. I think I'm better off getting out of the wheel ruts, you know? There we go. Some dirt under there. Gravel, whatever. Not that I'm worried about going in the ditch. Not enough ditch here to make a difference. All right, I think we're gonna have whatever range we want. So what do we want? The middle one? Yeah. It's the, Up at the, the top? Yeah, the All right. the 22, that one was that. All right. Oh, it could be fun to play in the snow here. All right, I wanna try something. The ditch right there, sir. Huh? Yeah, I know. I want to see if I can do a donut. Do you think it'll work? Yeah, sure. Is it good? Is it? Is it gonna tear things up if I do it? The, the I think. Underneath. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think uh, I can't get it to break loose without some momentum, and I don't know that I want to risk. Causing a problem here, so I think, that the snow, I think we'll skip it. The snow is not packed enough for you to slide. Yeah. It's actually fluffy to give you traction on the snow. Yeah. Uh, virgin snow we're driving through. Bunch of wusses here. No one comes to shoot when it snows. Do you want this one or the next one over? I'll say this one. All right, so I have